a few tips on how to be successful after graduation, and some reminders about the big event. I'm Kaylee Quinn. Stay tuned because NHS TV Live starts right now. The big event is coming up quickly. We had a couple of our big event student leaders in studio to give you more on what you need to know. Hi, I'm Anna Grace. I'm Linnea, and we're some of your big event student leaders. The big event is our school's way to give back. It's April 14th, and we'd like to invite you to help our community in a big way. You can sign up with any teacher of your choice that has chosen to sponsor a group. And once you do, don't forget to turn in your permission slip to them. This is a very special day, and we hope to see you all there. Don't forget to sign up for the big event and help your community in a big way. Now we know a few of you aren't entirely sure what comes next after high school and how you can be ready for it. NHS TV reporter Jenny Saniscoy recently spoke with Ms. Weatherall and they have a few tips and tricks for you. With the second semester continuing, the process of college prep is getting intense and as a student you may be feeling lost, but this English teacher is more than happy to share her knowledge. There's a great resource that we have called Naviance that kids can get on and do all sorts of searches. These searches can help students with important things like picking out what college to attend. For seniors who don't know where they want to go to college, I would suggest that they go to Naviance and use some of the tools there, or that they go to collegeboard.com and look at their college search that they have on there to try to fill out information about what they're interested in, do they want to go to a big school, small school, whatever, and then that'll help direct people to, to schools that might match up where they want to be. These two websites can also be an aid to those who don't know what major or career path to pursue. Students who don't know what they want to major in, I would suggest going to Naviance, looking at some of the career paths that they have available. And if there's a career that you might want to get into or a field you might want to get into, talk to someone on staff who's in one of those areas and see what they need to major in and what they need to study to be successful there. A very important factor in college prep is finances. Scholarships are huge because when, you know you've got to you've got to eat, you got to buy books, um, and loans are expensive to pay back, and interest rates are just getting higher and higher and higher. So the more scholarship money you can get, the better. And as I always tell my kids, you are not too cool for a $100 scholarship. So that's a lot of ramen. Something students should be looking into is the Northwest Education Foundation, which has its own set of scholarships that open February 5th. You're going to go online and it's a one-stop shop. You're going to fill out the one application and then the website will go ahead and send that to all of the scholarship organizations that the NEF is in charge of and they'll determine um, who wins those scholarships from that one application. With scholarships comes its own set of preparations to be ready to start applying. Number one, they need to work on having a resume that says what classes they're involved in, what community service that they've done, what leadership opportunities that they have, those kinds of things that they want a teacher to put in a letter of recommendation or things that they think that a scholarship organization might want to see. A great thing students who aren't seniors have to work toward is their standardized testing scores that can potentially get them college admissions and scholarships. I had study books that I went through to get ready for the SAT. I made sure that I took the SAT twice, I took the ACT once, and so just taking those things multiple times. College prep can get technical, but it all comes down to your personal motivation. I always did everything my teachers asked me to do in class. I made sure that I knew the material so that I knew that I had the skills to be ready. For NHS TV, I'm Jenny Santiscoy. Seniors, be sure to get your ducks in row before graduation rolls around. Tune in tomorrow to hear how basketball boys did in the, at the semifinals. Thanks for watching, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live.